Hey guys, what is going on? Nick here with GearNut, and I thought I'd make a quick video about a Leatherman mod I did. So, I went and bought one of these used Leatherman fuses. So, if you guys don't know about the Leatherman fuse, it's an old school multi-tool. <laughs> they don't make it anymore. It's really cool. It's got this nice little plastic ergonomic cushions for your hand while you're using it. It has the Leatherman Wave pliers. So, you know, if you're looking for backup pliers for your Leatherman Wave, you can always harvest them off of here. But the modifications I did, I don't know. I guess you'd have to look up and see what they have when they come with them. But I put a rebar saw on here. I put a rebar awl on here. And I put a bit driver off of the Leatherman Charge ALX. It had two bit drivers. I don't need two bit drivers. You know, I only need one bit driver. So I took the scissors and the standard bit off of here, the medium flathead, and put it on here. And then I took the bit driver and put it on here. So now it's got rebar. It's got a charge ALX part. It's got another rebar part. It has its original blade. It's got its original can opener. It's got its original long shank. I mean, this thing is ridiculously long. So nice precise screwdriver pretty sweet and then it has um, a standard medium bit driver I guess or not bit driver but standard medium screwdriver on there so I took that off the rebar as well if you guys don't know why I have so many rebar parts it's because I tortured one and basically destroyed it except for the some of the tools are still good so I figured they're all medium sized tool parts so heck why not try to put it on the fuse and I'm glad I did because this is going to be one of my little outdoor multi-tools, you know, camping, hiking, hunting. It's got the awl, it's got the saw, it's got the knife, can opener, a couple screwdrivers for prying and digging into places, and the bit driver. So, because there's two flat bits over here, I chose to put in a number one and a number two double-sided Phillips bit. So, two Phillips, two flatheads, different sizes, really nice versatility. I really do like that. All closes up really nice and easy. And you, we, you would think that this is a normal, standard Leatherman fuse. <laughs> but it's not. So, if you guys got any tools that you've modified, please let me know. I would love to hear what kind of modifications you've done to some of your tools. Or if you guys think there's any other mods I could try with this, let me know. I'll see what I can do. I wanted to stick some other pieces on here, but there's just not enough room. So, pretty cool little mod. Absolutely love it and it's really cool to have a unique multi-tool. So that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed this short little video, and I'll see you guys later.